Okay, welcome to um, Python Challenges. This is difficulty level five, and we will be using uh, data structures today. Remember, we'll be building on everything that we've done so far. So we'll be using if statements, we'll be using um, user inputs, date types, and um, uh, loops. Okay, remember to use the planning sheet because it'll support you throughout these tasks. One thing that you need to be using throughout a lot of these challenges now is this sort of planning sheet. You can find it on the link to the resources. This planning sheet just enables you to think through a program before you start to program it. So think about what are the requirements, a little couple of bullet points, what they do, what possible variables or constants do I need, and a little tick list. Do you need to use selection? Do you need to use some of these things in here? Now, some of them are not covered yet in these challenges, but that's what we need to think about. So have a think about this planning sheet so you're really clear on some of the challenges that you can use. Okay, so have a look at this code here, this pseudocode, and see if you can transfer this into Python. Okay, so you should have defined an array at the top. Um, I've just left user games blank. I've got a while loop. Um, so it's going to while until it equals yes. Then what we're going to do is got a user input here. We're validating our input by having our dot lower. So we're going to say if um, the user input is in the array games. So what that does is it checks to see the user input, see if it is in the games. If it is, it says let's play. If it isn't, it says it's not in the array, and then what it'll do is say these are the games which are, so it prints on each line and so say these are the games which are in our array. So you can see here the code runs the first time, tells me them, I've entered something wrong, yeah. Oh, so I've entered something right here, so it says let's play, and then here what I've done is I've entered something which isn't there, and then it exits out. 